In this next video, we're going to take a look at how to draw a circle. Now, if you're lucky enough that you're sketching an object you can hold in your hands, like this cylinder, I could just trace around the bottom and I'm going to have an accurate circle for this block. But what if you don't have something to trace? What if you're sketching a circle and you've got to do it from your head, from your memory, your image and that you're thinking of for an object? So we're going to look at a series of steps here that allow us to do that. The first step is we need to figure out a diameter for this. We're going to use this as our model, but really it can work for any size circle you want. So for this diameter, I'm going to use a diameter of four grids. So I'm going to go ahead and mark. Now I want to do this using construction lines. I want to be able to erase this in the end. So I'm going to mark a diameter out. That's about four grids, no, grid squares across. And I'm going to go ahead and connect a thin line across so that I can see my bullseye here. I'm going to then take these four marks that I've made and I'm going to square it in. Now these first couple steps are all about getting set up to actually draw the circle. Now that I've got this square, I need to diagonal out from the marks that I made for the diameter. So I'm going to make a diamond here. Still no circle, but we're getting close here. Now I'm going to take these four corner triangles. And those four corner triangles, I need to mark the rough center. So I'm just going to put a little dot. The reason I'm going to put a dot is to save myself some erasing later. I'm going to roughly estimate. Now that I have my dots here, I can begin to draw my circle. And I'm going to draw an arc from those diameter marks through the dot I just made to the next diameter mark. Kind of like this. I'm just going to continue this pattern all the way through. And now I've got a circle drawn, but it's mixed in with everything else. So now what I need to do is I need to erase all those construction lines that I did. This is another good reason why you want to draw your construction lines to be thin and easy to erase so that that way once you're done, they don't show up. And let's get the ones that are in the center here, the original lines in that diamond shape. And just for added measure, I'm going to go ahead and make that circle just a little more solid. Just so that it stands out a bit. And there we have a comparable circle to match that cylinder. And as you can see, if I put it over, it matches it pretty closely. So those are the steps to be able to draw a circle.